I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Yes, it's a Santa Fe. What you've seen in the past, well, this is all new. They cleaned the slate, made it bigger, bolder, more design, and some really cool elements. This is the calligraphy edition. This is the top of the line. We'll have a full car review coming for you in the near future, but I wanted to give you a first look at this vehicle because people are gonna wanna order them. They're gonna be coming into the dealers in the early part of 2024. The first thing you're gonna note is the new hood. It is different. The Hyundai logo is here, but that H continues in that LED pattern. That is the headlight design. Really cool design. Flush across the front and that LED light signature is in here. I think it looks really cool. Very modern and a big departure from the previous generation. As far as bigger and bolder, this vehicle is stretched 1.8 inches longer to 190.2 inches. And it's a half a foot shorter than the Palisade. So it's very similar. Wheelbase is nearly two inches longer and ground clearance remains at 8.2 inches. And when you check out the interior, you're gonna see it's much bigger because of the larger size. Our test vehicle is a 1.6 liter hybrid turbo, but this rides on 20 inch all season tires. You go up to that 2.5 liter turbo and then you're on 21 inch alloy wheels. I like the matte black. I think it looks really nice, especially with the shiny wheel arches. It's a nice change in colors from a design perspective. And also the Santa Fe logo here, it's really nice and clean. There are some pretty unique details on this vehicle. Besides the fact that it's got the matte black roof rails, which I like, and a lot of people put cargo containers on top, especially if you have a lot of gear to take with you. But how do you get up there, right? Well, do you stand on the seat? No. Hyundai came up with a creative idea. This little pattern here that looks like a design detail has two marks. You put your hand in here and then you can put your foot on the tire or on the sill going into the second row to get up to there. I think that's a really cool idea, especially if you can't. The gas door is on this side and I really like that. It's just clean lines, extremely modern and a whole new departure for Hyundai. Coming around to the back, they did something that I've been asking for and brands are finally listening tuck that wiper blade in underneath. Why? Because the wiper blades wear out quickly and they're also expensive. But when you tuck it up underneath, it's always clean. You don't have to clean it with an ice scraper or snow brush. This keeps the back end of the vehicle looking really nice and clean. So thank you, Hyundai, for doing that. Again, you got your integrated brake light here, really nice and clean. The Santa Fe is all new matte black and the logo here, open the trunk here. And let's open the trunk and talk about cargo space while we're here. Typically we do that at the end. We're gonna do that now. Behind the third row, which is folding seats, you can have all Santa Fe's come with the third row. If you don't wanna use it, you just fold it down. Very simple, done. It's 27 cubic feet of storage. Fold it all the way down, you're about 76 cubic feet of storage. That's a lot. And beyond that, you have more storage underneath here. Really clean. I love these new interior colors also. There's some unique features about the seat. You press this button, it's a full relaxation. And the seats go almost flat. And you have a leg rest, you're too tired. We've all done this, you're driving, you're too tired. Well, this will allow you to take a nap. Kind of neat. And of course, you've got adjustments on the passenger side as well. And more charging, because that's one of the things that Hyundai has always had is the charge ports on the side of the seats. Nice, comfortable seating surfaces. This does not feel like leather, but we'll find out the full rundown once we get a chance to review this car in full in the very near future. In the second row, this has captain's chairs with armrests, child safety seats in both locations. I really like the color combination. Also, you've got the screens that are manual, very nicely done, more storage in the back behind the seats, as well as bag holders for your items. Two in this case, really nicely done. One of the features that's new for this vehicle is you can access the center console from the second row. This is brand new for Hyundai. I think it's great when you're in the second row and you've got things in there. And then of course you've got additional storage in this gigantic deep drawer. Very nicely done. In the third row, you've got extra space. And of course you can fold that down remotely from the front and storage and charging in the doors. UVC. So this button here that's on the center console, when you open this tray, and it will sanitize it. Think about pacifiers, something that someone touched that you thought was kind of icky and maybe they had germs or they're sick. This will allow you to do that. You just close this door 
And when it's done, you will have a sanitized device, whether that be a phone or a pacifier. I like the additional storage here in front. Really nice, good for a pair of sunglasses. And then of course, a good size glove box as well. Really thought about that, as well as additional storage in the doors with that Bose audio system. So I am Steve Cho, uh, last name C-H-O-H, -H, and I'm a product planner for Hyundai. Great, okay. So this is a, an early pre-production car, and you're gonna see some really cool things, like this around view camera is, the details on this, I mean, look at that. That is, if you wanna see what's going on around you from a visibility standpoint, this is fantastic, especially in these tight parking garages. So I'm pretty impressed with that on its own. The illumination in this car is fantastic and it's super quiet because it, it is a mild hybrid technology. So you're driving on the electric right now. So one of the things that I was looking at the notes on this, the 2.5 liter gasoline engine is no longer available. Is that correct? That's correct. So now we just have a turbocharged 2.5 liter. So it gives it even more power, which means more towing capacity as well. So can you tell us the towing capacity on this vehicle and the horsepower ratings now that we've increased the performance level? Sure, so the, the 2.5 turbo has a Power output of about 277 horsepower, 311 foot-pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. The standard towing capacity is 3,500 pounds, unless you opt for the XRT trim. So if you opt for XRT, it actually raises the towing capacity to 4,500 pounds okay. uh, due to um, cooling. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that, that, that trim is kind of geared a little bit more towards the outdoor and off-road enthusiast. So as a result of that, the towing capacity has been increased as well. So the, uh, the off-road thing is something that Hyundai is sort of embracing. Absolutely. So it's something that's new. Uh, it, there's a lot of changes in this car. You're seeing a lot of similarities amongst other Hyundai products. And that also includes Genesis, which is your premium luxury line. I'm a huge fan. I'm actually test driving a GV80 here today. Um, as far as this vehicle in itself, there's a lot of changes. I mean, a lot. It's bigger, it's longer, it's wider, it's tall. I mean, this is not even the same Santa Fe that we first saw. Right, it, there's a lot of changes into the vehicle. Um, it was designed kind of from the outside in, as you'll see. Mm -hmm. The uh, rear opening for mm -hmm. the vehicle is absolutely massive. It's really wide, there's tons of cargo space. Uh, standard now for all trims is a third row. Um, so all trims get third row. So if you don't want to use it, you just leave it folded. Absolutely, yes. And it folds flat. It does, yes. But as far as from a performance standpoint, it's super quiet in here. I mean, like really quiet, right. uh, which I think is something that people want, especially if you want to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. But as far as the technology, this is all new. So you're now using the new technology inside, which is this very long screen. It's about like 30 inches of landscape. Is that about right? 12.5 and 12.5. Okay. Uh, I was close. Like 12.3 and 12.3, but they're connected, obviously. So it's right. at, yeah, probably pretty close. Yes. Yeah. It looks good. I mean, and the new materials are these. Is this real wood? Uh, I don't believe this is real wood, um, but it's uh, obviously has a nice this finish. This is to it. new. This is the UV sanitizer tray. The EV sanitizer the, tray. UV. So, UV. All right. Tell me what that is. So you can place anything that obviously fits in here. Like a pet uh, phones. Phone is uh, obviously one of the tablet. Things tablet um, will fit in there something that someone brought up a baby's pacifier if you need to sanitize it oh so you put it in here you close it and there's a button right here that says uvc so it uses uvc light to sanitize it so you press and that button. really works it absolutely works and that is amazing 10 minutes whatever has been in here has been sanitized that's amazing and that's really a good idea because you don't think about all the things that we all have Right. that are pretty gross and your phone's probably the worst. Very likely, yes. So you're gonna leave it in there. And then down below, you've got an additional tray. There's an additional storage tray. And that's below nice. That is the glove, the glove box. But that's a lot of extra storage. And, mm -hmm. and you don't realize how much junk we bring in the car, especially if you get family. Absolutely. And then this is one of my favorite things. I know you've got a lot of really great things and we're gonna do a full deep dive on this in the near future. We'll get on a review. But right now I wanna give you the first look two wireless chargers. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. And it shows the charging level USB-C as well. So as far as that, that is a huge plus to have two chargers. You'll come in the car, I'll come in the car, we wanna charge. You know, someone's in the back seat, so you got USB-C, so this allows a lot of options. Two cup holders, you're big cup holders. Thank you for doing that because I'm one who always brings a big bottle of water with me, as well as a coffee. Or, you know, and then you, everyone's using these thermoses now, the hydro flasks and everything, and they don't fit in most of the cup holders. In this case, it does. 
So I think that that's nice. All soft touch materials here as well. Big glove box, which is nice. And it's actually hinged on two sides so the people from the rear seat can access it this way. Oh, I like that. I saw that in the, did I not, what did I see that in one of your other vehicles? Mm -hmm. Is that EV9? It's uh, sort of kiss, the kissing cousin sister. <laughs> <laughs> different, different, uh, Dif the sister company's product. Yeah. I'm not sure whether or not that one has it. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is actually a uh, first for us. Very nice. And then of course you've got charger, charge ports down below and tons of storage because the shifter is here on the column, which they've done in the Ionic. And mm -hmm. so you've sort of followed along with that. And just for reference to mm -hmm. one of the funny things that people said as a unit of measurement to know how much storage is down yeah. here. Yeah. It'll hold, it'll hold the larger size Clorox wipes container. Oh, that's <laughs> so funny. That's, that's really nice. I've also noticed you changed your logo. You used to have the handshake of the Hyundai logo, which was, uh, which is, where you all started. And now what we have is the Ionic logo. Is this something new having the four dots? Yeah. I've noticed it in a lot of your vehicles lately. So it's actually Braille. Um, so it's, it's it's an H in Braille. Oh, I don't think many people are aware of that. So uh, tell me some other highlights of this vehicle because we're gonna get into a full deep dive down the road. And I just wanna give you like a first look so you can see, cause this is coming. I'm sure people are gonna want, go to the dealer and they're gonna go, not yet. Hold on, hold that thought. <laughs> when do we, when do you thinking they're gonna be in dealers? Uh, so I think we're looking around uh, sometime uh, first quarter next year. Oh, that, that's pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So hopefully in the first quarter before that, we'll get an opportunity to, to give you a full review on this car because I think there's a lot to offer. And this is not just your daily driver, but if you wanna go to a campsite, if you wanna go to the racetrack, whatever it is that you're doing, you can take this vehicle with you and make it your, your fun car and Absolutely. as well as your daily driver. So I noticed the sunroof is just one small one and there's additional one in back mm -hmm. versus the full glass panoramic roof. What's the mindset on that? Uh, just a design choice for people to be able to enjoy it in the rear and in the front. Right, and not both being forced to have glass. Sure, yeah, exactly. Especially with children. I mean, I think that's important as well. And you've got manual sunshades, which is something that you need when you got babies because I have a grandchild now, mm -hmm. so I understand it's all about getting the Covering everything up, protection, that, protection. In a lot of our vehicles, that's one of my favorite features. And a lot mm -hmm. of people tell me they really enjoy it too. That's nice. I, I love the aluminum details, mm -hmm. matte aluminum. And then of course you have your drive modes, which are snow, my drive, sport, and eco. So all different modes. And it's all digital, really easy to use. And this is the new, on the left side is the new fingertip control. Correct. Is that part of the new section 24220 of the infrastructure bill? <laughs> <laughs> I'm admittedly unfamiliar with the bill. Okay, well, uh, but I, I've covered that on my channel. You can check that out up here, but it's a kill switch thing. And basically you wanna make sure there's no drunk driving and no distracted driving. And so use your fingertip to check for alcohol levels. Uh, so I don't know if it's gonna be that intensive, but it I is hope obviously not. a mm. biometric feature that'll be integrated in a couple of other um, nice features that the vehicle have. Nice, I think that's important. I think people kind of want all that available to, you know, make it easy. I don't have my keys, I got, you know, it's in the, you know, your diaper bag or whatever it might be. This gives you a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So this, if I'm really comfortable with the Hyundai product as far as having everything here. So it is, thank you for making it finger touch. I like it that way. Some people want the dial, you can have both but all the settings are here and I, I know the seats have got to, you got to have massaging seats, I bet. Nope, look at that. Heated controls for first second and you can fold it down, mm -hmm. heated. So is there gonna be uh, massaging seats as well? This does not have the massaging seat feature. Will it have it in the future for us? Potentially in the future, um, but sure, for the right calligraphy. Now. This is a calligraphy, so this is really early production. So collecting people's thoughts. <laughs> well, if there's enough demand for it, we'll obviously consider it. Sure, absolutely. Very easy to drive. That's one of the things I noticed right away. Just really easy to drive. Um, I know that to give you a full drive impression, we'll have that coming up down the road. But in the meantime, this is nice because it's easy to drive. I think that's one of the things people like. And the Santa Fe has become very popular. Steven, thank you so much. There's a lot on this vehicle. We're gonna go around to the back and show you even more. There is a lot on this Hyundai Santa Fe. It has really great design, really creative, more modern. Not that it, I didn't like the previous generation. I love the look of this. The paint color palette is huge and lots of changes, tons of creative storage, lots of new technology. And on the negative side, there's no more PHEV. I'm sad and maybe, maybe we'll see an electric and EV version coming in the future. I think that's coming, but 
they won't tell me at this point, but the competitor list of this is huge. You've got the Toyota Highlander, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, the Honda Passport, the Ford Bronco, the Land Rover Defender, Kia Sorento, and literally everyone's got a vehicle in this category. I'm sure you have additional questions about the new Santa Fe. Put it down in the comment below. We'll be sure to find out. Well, I'll ask Christopher if he can give me an answer. He might not be able to, but I'll do my best to get you an answer. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below, as well as a link to our new channel, Car-Smarts, where we talk more about the auto industry. That's what we were talking about earlier about that section 24220. You can check that out over on that channel as well. All the details on how to reach me are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.